Bobby Joe Ellis. Yes, sir. It's about time we come out here again. We haven't yeah. seen you in a while. Been a while, hasn't it? Beautiful fall garden you've got going here. Well, thank you. You know, most people, not most people, but uh, your casual gardener thinks that in the spring you start your garden, and about now you're done. No. Not Bobby Joe. No. When do you start thinking about planting your fall garden? Fall garden, I'll usually put it about the second week in uh, August. Second week in August. Yeah. Now, what are you going to plant? Broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. Now, I'm looking right here at some of the prettiest broccoli that I have seen in a long time. Beautiful cabbage, and they're not bitten up like the spring cabbages. Now, the, the, that's the reason I put out the stuff in the late fall, now, where, where it's maybe eat up. Again, we're going to refer now to a segment that we did not long ago, the old-fashioned way to store your cabbage. You'll dig a hole right here. That's, that was interesting in itself. If you yeah. want to refer back to that, that's how you store it for winter. But this over here, cauliflower coming on, you still got a few tomatoes too. Yeah, that's still still got tomatoes. And the cauliflower hadn't started producing yet. It takes it, it about two weeks behind the other. You uh, introduced me to the poodoo bucket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and we've got alpaca and we've got sheep. And you talk about taking that manure, yeah. put it in your rain bucket, and you get a pretty potent mixture of, yeah. of poodoo. After about seven days, you can start using it. Now you the water wheel. have been using chicken. Right. I bet that smells good in the hot summer time. No, 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 no. <laughs> it, that, well, that, that, run that, Lois out of here. And I may go back to the cow or <laughs> something else after this year. Just a little ripe is what you yeah, said? Right, yeah, right. But you say about every three weeks, you'll come over here and pour some of that around just, the base. Yeah, pour around the base of it, yeah. So instead of 10, 10, 10, you use chicken, chicken, chicken. Right, right. I like where you're going with that. <laughs> So it's cheaper. You, it's cheaper. Yeah. It may not smell as good. You may want it downwind, or, or not, or excuse me, no wind. not downwind from <laughs> your house. But beautiful broccoli, beautiful cabbage, beautiful, looks like you might have some greens over there too. Yeah, and the greens on the other end of this. Uh -huh. We have froze a lot of greens in the last two or three days. Freeze is the operative word for today, because I know Lois is in there taking some of his fresh cabbage, and she's going to make. Freezer slaw. <laughs> That's an old-fashioned thing, you know yeah. what? What do you like your freezer slaw? How do you like to eat it? Well, we usually take the cookouts and put it on, kind of adds to your hamburgers and hot dogs and things like that when you're cooking out. So basically, she takes this, puts it in a small container, enough for a get together. Yeah, right. And boom, she takes it to the cabin in the woods and right. y'all are chowing down. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, let's go inside and see what Lois is doing. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in Lois's kitchen. I always love coming to your kitchen because it always smells interesting. There's always good stuff. Bobby and I were wandering around a garden and he was showing me his greens. And so this is like the bonus part of today's. This is like the extra. These are greens. Right. And they're ready to go. This is like a serving enough for what, four people? Mm-hmm, yes. Tell me how you do that. Well, uh, when we bring in lots of them to freeze. We wash, wash, wash them to begin with. Get the critters off. All right, get the critters off. Now you know they boil down to nothing. Mm -hmm. So he just keeps adding it and adding it and adding mm -hmm. it until he gets a full container. Mm -hmm. Then you boil mm -hmm. it down for a couple of hours. And then we boil them for a couple of hours until they're good and tender. And then of course they have to cool. And then we bring them back in and drain them completely. Put it in quart containers. Mm -hmm. And you got that right there. That's right. And you said a little canola oil and salt and you're good to go. A little canola oil and salt is what I put in them. And you know what we I don't ever them. have uh, any to throw away. What do you put in them? Bacon grease mm -hmm. and onions and then a little more bacon grease. Well, I may have to try that someday. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that's what my mother and my grandmother did. Oh, yeah, but Lord. I, I have a cardiac patient. Yeah. husband yeah. and they taught me how to cook with canola oil and that's what I've done since 89. You do what they tell you to do. That's right. Because I'll probably have to go to the canola oil for long because all the stuff I've been eating. Well they told him not to eat eggs more than two a week. He eats two every morning <laughs> and has for a long long time. Yeah. So. Hey, man's got to do what a man's got to do. That's right. But the real reason we're here today that was that was the bonus right there. That was that was a good bonus thing too is freezer slaw. Mm -hmm. That's an old fashioned thing. We're into that now that the cabbage is fresh in the fall garden. Mm -hmm. So we've been making some of that today and got a little more to make. And you know what I really like about this? First of all, you got all fresh vegetables to put in this. It's very easy and doesn't have a lot 
of different things in it. Now, how long have you been doing the freezer slaw? Oh, we've, we've been doing freezer slaw ever since we've been raising a fall garden. We make our sauerkraut in the spring, and then we do the freezer slaw in the fall. So, you, what, 20 years, 30 years? Uh, no, not that long. Maybe 10. 10 years? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What turns you on to this? Well, of course, we really like coleslaw, mm -hmm. and I just saw some um, recipes, and I thought, well, I'll give it a try, and it was really a big thing. Usually one bucket, do you, or sometimes you have to take two? Well, usually I just take one, and if I take two, then we have a son-in-law who loves to take that leftover home with him, so. Okay, let's talk about how you make this. It sounds fairly simple, but I've already tasted it. I already snuck in there and it's absolutely beautiful taste and leaves a great aftertaste in your mouth. What do you do to make this? Well, you just bring in the fresh vegetable from the garden. I have three vegetables in it, a carrot, a green pepper, and a head of cabbage. So and if you're doing 20 of these or one of these, that's your basic recipe. That's my basic one recipe. One carrot to one and one pepper per head of cabbage. Right. Gotcha. And then there's a dressing that you uh, put together and bring it to a boil and then you let it cool to lukewarm before you add all your vegetables into it. And what is that now? What's your... Uh, it is two cups of sugar, one cup of vinegar, a fourth cup of water, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of celery seed. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my self right out of the way. I'm going to watch you make this. I'll talk to you from over there. Okay. You're taking this with me. Don't all right. Worry. We're just talking, that smells fresh. Everything about it smells, I already know what it tastes like because I already had some, but I want some more. Mmm. So once again, that's not to confuse, you let that get room temperature <laughs> before you pour your stuff in because you don't want to cook your vegetables. Right. And that way you get that fresh taste when you mm -hmm. open this up. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that is most excellent right there. Oh, thank you again. Your favorite. People love you, Lois. Oh, well, very good. They love I... your stuff, and we do too, so thank oh. you very much. Well, you're welcome.